Okay, it's been a really long time since I shot any kind of bow related video. I haven't picked up a bow in months. The last time I had a bow in my hand was in December during the hunting season. And even around that time, I wasn't shooting much. I was just doing a little bit of hunting and warming up before I'd hunt. Um, just been busy, work, kids, sports, all kind of different activities that the kids have been dragging me out to. I had a boat project that we were working on. Weekends, just haven't had time to shoot. So this video is basically about starting up again for me. Um, one thing you should never do is take big long layoffs like I seem to do. It, it's not conducive to good shooting, um, but it happens and eventually everybody has to start up again. One thing I like to do is when I'm starting out again is drop poundage. And this video is about the convenience of having a bow system where you can have multiple different limbs so you can go up and down. Last year I hunted with hex 7.5 55 pound limbs. I'm bolting back on a set of 45 pound, no, oh, 48 pound limbs, hex 7 48 pound limbs today. Those are the limbs I use for 3D and that's basically um, what I'm gonna show here is how convenient it is to have multiple setups working off of um, one riser. This is of course my border CH. This is the phenolic riser. I do have another one of these risers. What's nice is I have four sets of hex seven limbs now and some seven five, so five sets of, of different limbs. What's super convenient about having a bow that you have multiple different weight of limbs for is just things like this. You can go up and down with weight very quickly. Basically, all I do is pop off my limbs from my for the hunting season. I'll pull off the little limb tip saver on the bottom because I'm going to reuse that on the next set. I'll take off my, of course, my string keeper, transfer the next limbs. I'll pop this string off. Pull the loop back in through itself to keep the string from untwisting. Snug it up, fold this string up. This will go right into the limb sock that these limbs are stored in for next year. Go to my travel case. Multiple sets of limbs. Pop out the 48 pound limbs, which I believe are these. These limb sleeves are from Rod Jenkins. Um, Rod does the Safari Tough cases and they're awesome. I love his limb um, sleeves are the only limb sleeves that these big nasty Hex 7 hook limbs slide into nice and easily. Your standard limb sleeves, when you put limb savers on a limb and with these big hooks, they just don't want to go into them. So if you guys have the big hook limbs and you're looking for nice limb sleeves. Rod Jenkins is the, is the guy that has them. They're awesome. Here's the string that's already set up for the, my 48 pound 3D limbs. So again, you know, I'm a big bow collector and I buy a lot of bows over the years and I haven't been. Since I've got hooked up with a covert hunter, I've just fallen in love with the whole idea of it, the way it works, everything. I was shooting ILF bows, which I still think are awesome, but I went back to a bolt down, which I thought I'd never do. And to be honest, um, I'm really happy with it. I love it, I love it. Snug the limb bolts up. Now with every set of limbs, it's already pre-tuned. I have a set of arrows that works out of that limb. I have a string set up. This string should go back on. I probably won't even have to adjust brace height to be honest with you. Now that the other limbs and the other string will go right back in this and right back in the case.
Make sure you get your big loop on the top. You know, people ask about the big hooks and stringing them. And to be honest, I've, I've never had a bow string easier than these big hooked border bows. George, do me a favor. Right inside, there's um, a big bunch of bases of arrows. The arrows, I was digging a 400 spine with a field point on it. Now I took the liberty of changing the quiver out already, meaning taking the arrows that were 300 spine that I was shooting through my 55 pound limbs and putting back on 400 spine, which are the arrows that tunes with um, this limb setup. So, all right, the bow's already set. It's back together again. Put my limb protector on the bottom. Checking brace sight, we're a tad high, but it'll definitely stretch out again or settle after I shoot it for a second. I asked my buddy George to get an arrow. You're gonna see a rusty guy shoot his first arrow in months. George has got me the 400 spine. These are one of the shafts from Border Archery. Now again, I have not shot in months, so I'm probably gonna make a real ass out of myself. But, gotta show the good with the bad, I guess. Whoops. Well, not the best shot, but we're in the deer. Again, um, the convenience of having a limb system and a riser set up that you can switch limbs. Again, I go through four or five different sets of limbs on this one riser. Um, my favorite setup of all time. We'll start shooting, get some practice in, and get ready for the 3D season. Thanks. Ooh! Nice job. 